Hi guys! I know um, it's been a while, a long time, so please forgive me, but I'm back. Welcome to the Domestic Naturalista channel, and I am here with another grocery haul. It's been a while since I've done a grocery haul, so it's been busy. The kids are back in school now, and just getting the schedules, everything together. So I just really didn't have time to really film any grocery hauls. And I know you guys really enjoy grocery hauls. And I'm excited that you like the grocery haul. So I want to keep this going. But um, first, as you can see, we have a Costco haul back here. And then I also did a Aldi's haul. So I'm going to get into that. I'm going to tell you, the budget for Costco was two hundred dollars my husband not my husband my son and i we we calculated the entire time trying to stay on our budget we got to 209 as we calculated the items and i knew that it was done but there were just some things i just couldn't let go of to stay in that 200 budget so with tax it was exactly 209 and I thought I was calculating the tax in, but with the tax, it was 228. And I also think, I really think that they didn't take the $4 off the bounty paper towels because it showed $19. And maybe I'm wrong, but I thought it was originally priced at $19. I could be wrong. The thing, the problem was the discount, they hit the regular price. So no one knew the regular price so you saw all these people getting um the bounty paper towels and i would ask maybe if they knew and they had no idea they just assumed that it was a better deal and i even looked online and i saw that the bounty paper towels were about 19 dollars. so i'm like okay deduct 14 from that that's about 15 dollars, which is which is almost the same price as the kirkland brand I really should have just stuck with the Kirkland brand. But anyway, I got the bounty and the receipt showed $19. So I'm a little frustrated with that because I really, I should have, since it was already on my mind, I should have checked um, with the, um, with the um, cashier. But when you're dealing with kids and groceries, it's only so much you can think on. There's only, only so much you can focus on. So anyway, I'm going to get into this grocery haul. These groceries have been sitting and I really need to put this stuff up. So we can go, let's go into the Aldi's haul first. And for Aldi's, I spent $40. And so I really just got a lot of produce. And let's see, it's all, it's not neat, guys. Look, when I'm doing this, I really don't have time to make it all pretty. So I apologize. But here we have... A bag of chips. We do have company coming for Labor Day on Monday. So I just wanted to have some um, chips on hand with the um, veggie burgers and hot dogs and stuff like that. So, and my husband loves, he loves the salt and vinegar chips in here. But um, all these chips, they're pretty good. Not too bad. And their produce, I was very surprised. Usually all, do, all these produce is a hit or miss. But ever since they've um, renovated the building, the produce is looking great, amazing, almost like sprouts. So we have a bag of grapes, um, bananas, a bag of lemons, and my kids are enjoying these um, clementines, so we have some of those. And I'm going to make, um, I need to start doing um, cooking videos too, guys. But I'm going to make some buffalo cauliflower wings cauliflower bites whatever you want to call them but i call them buffalo cauliflower wings i guess because they give you the illusion of wings so i have two of those mushrooms to um with my um veg veggie burger i'm going to make um I'm, i like to make a black bean mushroom veggie burger so i'm going to make that um some relish i make tuna fish a lot so we need more relish some um, organic apples, some almond milk, and I also have some a big watermelon. And guys, let me tell you, when I pick a watermelon, this is what I need it to look like. I need to see that yellowish um, look on it, yellowish color. 
that lets me know. I do knock on it, but I, I still don't understand that part of it. I don't know. But I like to look at um, the color of it. This lets me know that it's been sitting for a while and it is right and sweet. So, so far so good. I've been doing pretty good with the watermelon. So, hoping this one is good too. And I have the blueberries and the strawberries. And I am making a strawberry um, with blueberries in it, um, a cobbler. And it is so good. So, um, yeah, I'll be doing that. So, this is basically, yeah, everything from all these. And I guess, yeah, all of this was about 40 bucks. So, that's it for all these. And over here, ah, how am I going to get through this? Okay. First, we have the LaCroix. I was debating if I was going to get these, but I know my husband likes these, but I know we really like the berry kind, but they have 12 passion fruit. The coconut is hit or miss. It's okay, but I decided to get them anyway. When you go to Costco, you have to get the mixed vegetables. I mean, I like to get it, especially for um, fried rice or just putting it in spaghetti. Hey like to do that um my kids i try to wing them off this um turkey meat and try to go my route but they don't want to do that so um we got some hillshire farm turkey breasts for sandwiches for them we have organic eggs um some butter um my family, we love this um, preserve. It's a four fruit preserve and it's really good. Everyone who tries it that comes to visit loves it and wants to know the name. So, hey, that's really good. Um, my family, they also like the turkey bacon. And when I have company, I just like to have this on hand. If we, have, we have a lot of family that sometimes comes um, spend a weekend with us. So, we like to have this turkey bacon on hand for breakfast. Uh, I don't normally purchase this, but I purchased it one time a couple of months ago, and my boys, my husband and my son, they love it, especially on the days, on the nights where everybody is on their own, everybody is on their own when it's um, time to eat, and because you don't feel like cooking. Moms, I know you understand that. Hey, dads, you probably understand too, but on those days where you just don't feel like doing every, anything, okay everybody on your own this will come in handy <laughs> and we have some tuna fish um i'd like to get the wild planet but i'm on a budget and i just decided to get this and i'm actually going to make some tuna patties um some tuna fish salad hey this is this can go a long way so i like to have tuna fish on hand i also like to have the spinach and mozzarella ravioli on on hand I can get um, two or three meals out of this and applesauce for the kids these were on sale so I normally get the Kirkland friend but since these were on sale and they really like these the best I went ahead and got these um, this was not on my list but normally every time I go to Costco I always get this and I said I'm not going to get it but it was calling my name y'all these are so good, so good. And my friend told me, do not get them. Do not try them. But of course, when someone tells you that, you just have to try it and it's delicious. So, had to get that. Um, got some mandarin oranges for the kids. Um, some trail mix for my husband. Did I tell you we got um, two loaves of bread? This is the bread that my family likes. I mean, I don't know if it's the healthiest, but it is good. And I try to stay away from it, but this is the bread we get so about two loaves of that some organic broccoli this is another must-have from um, costco um, i like that the broccoli comes um individually bagged and so it makes it easy as far as um, the portion size so i love the broccoli from um the frozen broccoli from costco and i also get these um the wraps, the tortilla wraps. Normally get the organic, but on a budget. <laughs> so I got this, and this will last a long time. And uh, yes, I'm not going to use all of this at one time. So um, they do freeze very well if you are interested. And um, we like to make, I 
make vegetable wraps with it, tacos, you know, it goes so much you can do with this. And of course, some goldfish. I was leery about the goldfish. They were on sale and my kids had an option. It was either goldfish or cheese crackers. They picked the goldfish, so that's what we did. And we have, put this over here. And over here we have the pizza singles. These can be, and this can also be another meal where I don't feel like cooking. You're gonna eat this tonight. And my husband, when he gets the kids ready for school, sometimes they'll eat this for breakfast. So hey, you can do a lot with that. And of course I have to have my spinach. I always get spinach at Costco. And yeah, um, I like to put um, paper towels um, in between it to um, reduce the moisture so the spinach will last a longer time so that's a tip for you but yeah I gotta have my spinach and I think that's it but um, I did buy I told you we buy drumsticks for our dog and I already put that in the freezer in our other fridge so we have that and then we have the paper towels that I already put up oh and water I bought water too so yeah, I think that's everything. Um, so I spent 209. I feel good saying 209, even though twenty dollars tax, <laughs> or was it 18 something? It was 228. But yeah, I went over budget at Costco, but it's okay. I only go there once a month, and that means um, the next few weeks I will only go to Aldi's, and hopefully I can stay under a hundred dollars. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this Costco and um, Aldi's haul. And I'll be sure to do more videos like this. Actually, thumbs up if you like this video. And that lets me know I need to do more grocery hauls. And if you want to see more vlogs, day-to-day um, -day life of a uh, working mom and what I do with my family, thumbs up <laughs> or comment down below. But thank you for joining my channel, all my new subscribers. And thank you to my current subscribers who watch me. I really appreciate it. And I hope you all have a great Labor Day and just enjoy the month of September. Love you guys. Bye.